words are insufficient to capture the magnitude of what took place on the cross. Words cannot describe the, the significance of what happened in the spiritual realm. Now, we couldn't save ourselves because we were under sin. There was no person born from Adam's time who was perfect, who was sinless. Each one of us were under sin, under Satan, under the results of sin. So we couldn't help ourselves. Some people lived probably better than the others, but everyone was still born in sin. Still subject to sin. So there was no human person who could save us, who could help us. No religious leader, no philosopher, no great teacher, no leader could save people from their sins. And so God decided to do something for us. And that's why Jesus Christ came into this world. So Jesus was not Somebody who had his beginning 2,000 years ago. Jesus, the Bible says, was from eternity, from everlasting to everlasting. You are God. So this baby born in a manger was almighty God, the eternally existing God. The God who created all things, in whom are all things, for whom are all things. This eternal God now subjecting himself to frail humanity. Omnipotence coming in the weakness and the frailty of a human body. Omniscience coming in the limitations of a human mind. And omnipresence coming in the confines of this physical body. That's who this Jesus was. God coming as a man. He had to pay the price for the sins of the whole world. Sins of people who died in the past. Sins of the people who are going to live in the future. He had to pay for the sins of the whole world. And that's what Jesus did. He was born 2,000 years ago. God became a man. He lived a normal human life. And, and at about 33 years of age, 30 years of age, he began what we call his ministry. He began to preach. He began to announce about the things of God. The things of the kingdom of God. He healed the people of their sicknesses and diseases, showing to us that's who God is and that's what God wants to do. He cast out evil spirits so that people were tormented and oppressed by Satan and his demons. They, they were set free and he said, that's what God wants to do. See? He cast out devils. He worked miracles. He's showing to us this is what God wants to do in our lives. But the greatest thing he did was to go to the cross. On the cross, two things happened. Jesus represented you and me before God. He said, Father, I am taking the sins of the whole world. The Bible simply says, He who was without sin became sin for us. The Bible simply says, all of us like sheep have gone astray, but the Lord has laid upon him the sins of us all. On that same cross, the Bible says, Jesus disarmed Satan. That through his death, he crushed the head of Satan. And when he had finished the work, the Bible says, that on the third day, he rose up from the grave. He rose up alive. The work is done. He resurrected. He showed himself alive to his disciples for 40 days. The Bible says with infallible proofs. Unquestionable evidence of his resurrection. They saw him alive for a period of 40 days. And he gave them the great commission saying, Go to the whole world. Tell the whole world this good news. Celebrating Jesus. But more importantly, remembering why. He came, why he died, and the response that God is asking from you and me to believe in his son, Jesus Christ, whom he has sent.